Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for the Euro US dollar FX for Tuesday, October the 20th. Well, the market continues in a first time frame uptrend. Uh, the current candle has a higher high and a higher low. The previous candle was in bar chart terms an outside day with a higher high but a lower low. Um, that was uh, a day of uh, great indecision, at, uh, quite a volatile day, and it signified a strong battle between the bulls and the bears where the high of the previous candle was taken out but also the low of the previous candle was taken out. So the bull showed strength but the bears showed strength as well. Uh, we had buying coming in and the market closed up towards the high so it's a little wonder that the market uh, also continued up on its way on, in this first time frame uptrend. We now have a, a red bodied candle, a very, fairly small bodied candle but um, the red body means that the sellers have made some bearish net progress on the day and that's a negative for this market even though the trend is still up and uh, the close is below the previous close only marginally but it's below the previous close and that's telling us that the sellers are showing some keenness to taking this market lower interestingly though we have another larger shadow on the bottom of this candle and we had buying coming in as the sellers tried to sell off and that's happened in the last four consecutive candles we can see here on this day when the market tried to trade down through 148.70 which is a very strong area of support now previously within this zone there it was an area of resistance and now the market's finding support in that region the market sold down and the buyers came in and bought the market back up on that the next day sold off buyers bought the market sold off found support at the uh, Tenkinsen and the market was bought again and closed up towards the highs we tried to trade down towards the 148.70 level and the buyers came in even before the market could trade down below there by the same token though this uh, 150 region is a very strong area of resistance for the market and we know that uh, resistance and support works in the zone and we can see here with these little shadows as the market was approaching this zone it was uh, selling off to a degree and it happened again today uh, that's evidenced by the shadow here now 150 is a round number for this market so we would expect that there would be solid um, psychological resistance around this level anyway so that's why the selling came in now overall though we need to remember that the market is in a first time frame uptrend and we expect that trend to continue unless we have evidence otherwise and evidence would be a lower high and a lower low so we need to keep an eye on the high of the current candle especially the 150 area if we have a solid bullish close up above there then the market will continue to appreciate if we have a solid close down below the low of the current candle and especially the 148.70 then the market will most likely sell off and find support somewhere else most likely area for support will be in the region of this low which is uh, where the Tenkin Sen is at 148.30 and then down towards the um, Kijun Sen which is at 147.3 uh, and a half uh, roughly so there is potential for the market to sell off there but very strong support all the way down through there and we identified a previous zone here that was a strong resistance zone and uh, with this um, uh, caramel color here and then the yellowy color here was another zone so there is very strong potential for support all the way down through to these levels if the market does trade down there through there too then uh, with the Ichimoku charts we have potential for support at the uh, cloud or the Kumo here so looking at the uh, market in Ichimoku chart terms, we have uh, the cloud with potential support. Here we're trading up above the cloud, which means the market is positive. And we're trading up above the uh, Tenkan Sen and the Kijun Sen, uh, which means that the market is overall bullish. So um, overall, watch the highs and the lows and the support or resistance areas. They become very important for this market in the uh, short to medium time frame. Mm -hmm. Thank you.